We're going to talk today about when we have a substitute, how we can be helpful, and how we can be responsible. Okay. Um, what I want you to focus on today is really giving me reasons behind your thinking. So the question is, what do you like about having a substitute teacher? I want you to think about that. What do you like about having a substitute teacher? Yes, Jacqueline? What I like about having a substitute teacher is that I, we get to have a new routine, and I like getting new, having new things. What I like about having a substitute teacher is like, you, you, you can learn stuff about new people and get to learn about new people and not just see the same person over and over again. Thank you. Our next question that we're going to think about is what can be challenging about having a substitute teacher? I want you thinking first. What can be challenging about having a substitute teacher? People, they might do the wrong thing and yell and um, and then all of us will be in trouble and there will be a re report to the regular teacher that our class was being disrespectful to the teacher. Um, they may be, be going to be a little bit different. Um, maybe do the um, same stuff you say, but they maybe do it differently. Does someone want to add, in, a, in addition to what Kaylin said, you want to take that a little further? Erin? They might do something different than what your normal teacher does, so it's out your comfort zone, and people might get mad and stuff. Thank you guys for sharing. Um, we, I'm going to be at a professional development on Tuesday, and you guys will actually have a substitute in here. So when you're answering these questions, I really want you to think about how we're going to continue to have the community, um, our strong community in this classroom, even when I'm not here. The question um, that I want you to think about um, is what are some ways you can welcome the substitute into our community at the beginning of the day? Turn to your partners and discuss this question and begin. I think a good way to welcome a substitute into our community is by saying I'm glad you came or you could say like something like good morning I hope you fit into our community you can help them and tell them what to do if they don't know what to do say good morning say you're always welcome here um, you can be kind of them you can help them with the work and um, you could say you're welcome to the school and thank you for helping us when our teacher's not here. And you also could like not make fun of them or get mad at them because they don't know what they're doing because it's different because it might be their first time at Parker or something or at that school. I heard some really, really great answers about this question and responses to this question. Remember that we are also giving reasons why we think this would um, welcome somebody into our communities. Can someone please share um, with us what you or your partner discussed? The way to welcome a substitute is say good morning and respect them. And why do you think that would make them feel comfortable or welcomed into the community? How do you feel when you when you go somewhere new and someone welcomes you? How does that make you feel? That makes me feel included too. Um, you guys said that you um, want to be respectful when somebody, a new person, comes into our community. Who can tell me what respectful looks like? Oh, it looks like they're great posture and not talking when they're trying to explain something and learning and no playing around. Respectful looks like someone being nice to them and not talking back when they tell you something and listening and behaving. So when we have a substitute teacher Tuesday, I'm, I'm really enjoying hearing you guys um, on how you want to be acting. So what are some other reasons that we want to be respectful towards a substitute? Because 
we need to send them a message that we are not going to bring any trouble to the day because this might be their first day as, you know, coming to the park, to Parker Elementary. We don't want them to leave and go, um, and they, if they come back to Parker, they, they're going to say, um, I don't want to come here anymore because the kids are being disrespectful and we don't want that. Our next question I want you to think about first is what are some ways you can be responsible or helpful towards the substitute at the end of the day? You can say, like, that was very nice for you to teach our class. Would you like me to, like, stay after school and help you clean up and get things back tomorrow to normal before the teacher gets back? Before we go outside at the end of the day, we could probably tell the sub that some of us go to the after school program and some of us don't. I agree with Hennessy because I um, I agree with Hennessy because they she they he and she the substitute might not know that we have programs for the end of the day or might we might have circus. They don't they might not know about all of that. What we're going to do um, is we're each going to write a letter to our substitute teacher. And out of our letters, we're going to make a book that the substitute teacher will be able to read. As soon as they come into our community, they'll be able to read these letters. We're going to ha um, return to our seats and write the letter. Team um, one, please return to your seats. Thank you for taking your chairs correctly. Team two, return to your seats. Raise your hand if you would like to share out what you wrote. Dear Substitute, I will be a great help and I will not be disrespectful to you. My classmates and I are very excited to have you in our classroom. I came to school to learn. I will take responsibility for my actions. One way I can be responsible to, the, to you is not getting into fights and being a great student. I thank you for helping our classroom. You really didn't need to, but I appreciate the fact you did. You are always welcome here at Parker Elementary. I come here to learn not to play around, so I will be a great student. Thank you. 